Yo guys, what's up? We have the college football picks for Friday night football. So obviously we all know these games the entire season have been absolutely ridiculous. A ton of high scoring games, a ton of shootouts. So we're going to talk about more of the games here in this video. I got two plays for you guys in this video, but again, we'll go over a ton of plays and a ton of games as well. So before we get into the video, guys, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the free pick videos I drop for you guys every single day because tonight on Thursday Night Football, we only missed one play and it was Jordan Mason rushing yards and it's only because he got injured. That dude was flying over that number. He had like 70 rushing yards in the first quarter. He would have fit, but he got injured. Other than that, we basically hit the other plays, tied one, hit the other one, and then right here was the game on Monday Night Football. So we have been cashing on the channel. So make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. But before we get into it, if you guys are not in VIP already, not only is this a great time to do it because it is not completely the weekend yet. It's not Saturday, Sunday, Monday yet. You guys still have time. This is a great time to do it. But also you want to get in before they Friday night games. Okay. We cashed this play right here last Friday night. This was also part of Friday night. And then tonight on Thursday night, we were one play away from cashing another four man in VIP. We were up over 50 units in VIP this season so far. So right here, you guys can see this is what you would have made last weekend with us in VIP. We went up 13 units last weekend, and this is what you would have made if you were putting this amount of money on each one of the plays if those were your unit sizes. So all you have to do to get in VIP for free, an entire month for free, you guys just have to download Parlay Play right here with code GHOSTLOCKS and deposit at least 10 bucks. So it's really quick, really simple. You just have to make sure to actually download Parlay Play, type in code GHOSTLOCKS like this, all caps, no spaces, guys. Don't mess it up. It's so easy to do. Ghost locks, no spaces, all caps. Deposit at least 10 bucks and then drop a comment on this video saying, hey, I used your code and I will send you guys a link to a free month of VIP. But again, even if you don't want VIP, you still get a $100 deposit match just by using code Ghost Locks. I recommend everybody gets on this app with code ghost lock so you get a hundred dollar deposit match and a free month of vip but just make sure if you actually want vip you have to deposit at least 10 bucks with code ghost locks drop a comment down below and then i will send you guys the link to the free month of vip which again you guys do not want to miss out on last friday night was insane tonight we almost cashed again we're up 50 units we're trying to go up 100 units in one month that is the goal, so make sure to go get in VIP. All the links are down below, but let's hop into the video. So like I said, I only have two plays today. There wasn't a ton of plays that I loved, so I don't want to kind of force plays unless I absolutely love them. So that is why I only have two plays. The first play we're going to go with, we're going to go look at UNLV versus Utah State. This is a game that I really like because I really like betting on UNLV. Last Friday night when I just showed you guys these plays that we cashed, two or one of these pairs was the UNLV pair quarterback wide receiver duo. So I really like taking UNLV's overs, especially Hodge Malik Williams. This guy stepped in to the starting quarterback role a couple a couple games ago because the starter left because some NIL BS. So this guy steps in, makes a name for himself, has been playing really, really good football lately. And again, he's only played two games so far as the starter, and you guys can see what he's been doing. If we're looking at his passing touchdowns, these two games that he has started for the team, he threw at least three in both of those games. Now, playing this Utah State team right here, Utah State sucks. Plain and simple, I'm sorry if you're a Utah State fan. I'm sure none of you guys are because I don't think they have that many fans. No offense, but this game is at Utah State. It should be a blowout. UNLV should kill them. However, Friday nights have been getting crazy. It is at Utah State. You never know. Utah State could come out in this game, you know, get really close in the first half, and then UNLV will probably pull away in the second half, even if that does happen. I think UNLV will definitely win this game by at least double, double digits. They are a really, really good football team right now. And again, that is mainly because of this man, Haj Malik Williams. This is the play we're going to be taking for him. Over two and a half passing touchdowns. Utah State... Their last three games has allowed the quarterback, the opposing team's quarterback to throw at least three touchdowns in the last three games straight. You guys can see he's thrown three touchdowns in both of the games he started this year. So obviously at some point, this guy's streak's going to end and he's going to throw less than three touchdowns. At some point in the season, that's going to happen. He's not going to, he's not the best quarterback in the country. He's not going to throw over three touchdowns every game. However, 
With that being said, I don't see why tonight or why today on Friday would be the day for that streak to end. I think it's going to continue, and he's going to throw another at least three touchdowns in this game. They're projected to beat him by at least 20 points. The game is projected to have at least 65 points scored in the entire game. So the reason we're taking two and a half passing touchdowns, and that is a uh, demon play as well, so it's a higher payout. The reason we're taking that is because you could go over on his passing yards of 198, but again, this is should be a blowout, and if it is a blowout, he won't really need to pass the ball. I can see a game where he throws 120 yards and three touchdowns. I can easily see that happening. A couple quarterbacks so far in the season have already had that exact stat line against Utah State. So we're playing it a little bit safer. Two and a half touchdowns. Utah State's so bad, he should be able to make that happen. And again, even later in the game, the reason touchdowns is better than yards is because we're basically guaranteeing that he is going to be throwing the entire game because if they go up by a ton, right, he won't be passing. So I don't like passing yards at all. Two and a half touchdowns I like because he will be passing the ball until he gets those two and a half touchdowns. So that's the play we're going to be taking right there for UNLV. The second play we're going to take, I love this Maryland team, man. Betting on this Maryland team has been cash all season long. Look at this man, Billy Edwards. This dude is every sports better's dream. You guys can see he's hit five games in a row. He just threw 330 against Villanova. He threw 290 against Indiana, 260 against Virginia. This guy is slinging the rock in Maryland right now. Absolutely killing it. He's playing Northwestern. They suck. They give up a ton of passing yards. This game is being played in Maryland. Home game Friday night against a bad team. He should be able to just go out and sling the rock again. Now, the only thing that somewhat worries me is what if it's a blowout? He doesn't need to pass the ball, and so he doesn't cover this line. I think this game should stay close enough to where he should go over 250 just because Maryland is such a pass-heavy team. And so even if they do win this game by four touchdowns, maybe even five touchdowns. That is how good I think Maryland is. They could possibly do that. I think the way they're going to get to four or five touchdown lead is through the air and through Billy Edwards throwing the ball. So I still like him over 252 passing yards right there. Now, the other thing I really, really, really wanted to take in this video, and I was you know, trying to stay up late enough to where they actually posted this play, but I can't see it as of right now. They know we're on to something because they will not post their receivers lines for Maryland. They refuse to do it. Maryland has two receivers, Prather and Felton. I absolutely love both of them. Once they're up on the board, pair it up with Billy Edwards over on their receiving yards and just pair that up. I love Felton a lot. Felton is one of the best receivers in college football. Not being talked about enough, but he is a really, really great receiver and he's been cashing almost every single week as well because Billy Edwards is throwing for 250 plus. That dude's catching the ball for 100 plus every week. They won't put their play up because they're literally scared of us making money off of them. So once they put Felton up, I'm throwing some plays down with that pair of Billy Edwards and Felton. So if you guys have that play up by the time you're watching this video, I recommend to just throw it in there, Felton or Prather, any of the Maryland receivers, throw it in there with Billy Edwards. But as of right now, those are the two plays we have, and it is a 5X since this is a demon play right here. So those are the two plays we have. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel again, guys, so you don't miss any of the free pick videos I drop for you guys all the time for college football and NFL. It's pretty much every single day at this point, so make sure to subscribe to not miss that. And again, last but not least, guys, make sure you're in VIP Again, it's just code GhostLocks on Parlay Play, $10 deposit, drop a comment, and I will send you guys that link to the free month of VIP. And if you're already on Parlay Play and you can't get in VIP through Parlay Play, you guys can use code Ghost on Chalkboard or Sleeper. So I have other options for you guys as well if you already have that app. Just make sure this is a different code. This is not Ghost Locks. This is code Ghost. So you put in code Ghost, same deal. Deposit 10 bucks, drop a comment on this video. I'll send you guys that link to the free month of VIP right away. So you could just, once you guys sign up with any app, with any promo code, drop a comment. I'll send you guys a link to the free month of VIP so you could start cashing out plays like this. But other than that, guys, those are plays for the games on Friday night. Good luck with our bets, and I'll catch you in the next video.